Thursday, as we watched the U.S. soccer team's World Cup game against Germany, President Obama was watching as well aboard Air Force One. On the left of your screen there, that's Valerie Jarrett, a longtime friend and one of Obama's closest White House advisors. Our Cynthia McFadden was granted unique access and spent a day behind the scenes with Valerie Jarrett at the White House. It's just after dawn at the White House. And President Obama's senior advisor and longtime friend Valerie Jarrett is arriving for work. So the president came into office with an astounding approval rating, and it's now down to 41 percent. What happened? Look, we're going through some tough times now, but I'll tell you something that I learned very early in the first campaign is that you just can't look at the daily polls. I mean, my goodness, if we listened to the polls, he would have abandoned the race in the middle of the primary session. But is he losing what the people? Do? No, I don't think so. Today, rare access inside the West Wing, where Jarrett's office is prime real estate. Before I was here, Carl Rove, and before Carl Rove, Hillary Clinton. Every morning, the president's briefing with his on my assistant's desk, so I picked that up. She's known the first couple since 1991, when she offered Michelle Robinson a job in Chicago City Hall and met her then fiance. Start only with the front page. On this morning, she's eager to read coverage of the White House Summit on Working Families. Thank you, everybody. An event she spearheaded the day before. A rally for paid parental leave and hiking the minimum wage. These are common sense issues. One of the questions that both the Washington Post and the New York Times raised this morning. Not back legislation then. If the administration believes this, put your money where your mouth is. Well, I think we shouldn't shoot from the hip. I think what the president said is, look, Let's start with the premise that every American should have paid leave, and then let's have a conversation about how to get there. Difficult with an uncooperative Congress and the president's own pledge not to raise taxes. And our meeting starts promptly at 7.45. So I'm going to Her first meeting is with the president's chief of staff, Dennis McDonough. We'll be back soon. <laughs> She has outlasted four other chiefs of staff, Rahm Emanuel, Pete Rouse, Bill Daly, and Jack Lew. It has been said that Karl Rove was George Bush's brain and that you're Barack Obama's spine. Well, I think the president has a pretty sturdy spine all on his own. He doesn't need you for that. He does not need me for that one bit. At 8.45, she sits down with her own senior team. 36 White House staffers work for Jarrett. They discuss getting programs out, going around Congress straight to the nation's mayors. Then it's off to the Roosevelt Room. Good morning, good morning. And a meeting with small business owners on how to make the workplace more family friendly. Hi, how are you? <laughs> 2 45 p.m., the first of the day's meetings with the president himself. Good job, yes. Thank you. I want to read you some things that have been said about you, okay? Sure that you are the most powerful woman in Washington, and that you're like Nancy Reagan, but with more power. What do you think of that? Well, you know what? I think people say all kinds of things about me. Those are some of the more flattering things. <laughs> but, but, but do you, I think do you call it hyperbole? It? Really? Think, yes, of course it's hyperbole. Of course it is. We have a process by which decisions are made as, as a team here, and it wouldn't serve the president well if I went around that process. I want to talk to you about the future. Is Michelle Obama going to run for office? No. You that, said that very definitively. Well, I'm absolutely 100% positive that that will never happen. How about Valerie Jarrett? Will you ever run for office? Unlikely. But maybe. Not as definitive as the First Lady, but highly unlikely. The First Lady said yesterday that we should have a female president as soon as possible. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's no question that the person who is poised at this moment to break that ultimate class ceiling is Hillary Clinton. Well, since she hasn't even announced her candidacy, I think it's premature. For now, she's focused on building alliances with business leaders and others on a wide range of issues. Listen, even you and Rupert Murdoch are now breaking Can bread together. Can you believe that? If anyone had told me five and a half years ago I'd be having dinner with Rupert Murdoch, and quiet as it's known, this is the second time we've had dinner. <laughs> Everybody only knows about the last time. But you know what? He's committed to immigration reform. Despite the polls, the Congress, and the ticking clock, she says there is still much that can be accomplished. As long as the president will have me, I will be here, and I hope it's turning off the light.